me great pleasure to now introduce Mr. Dilip Rahulan, who is the Executive Chairman of Pacific Controls. Uh, Mr. Dilip, if you can please come on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Uh, thanks to the Intel team for giving me this opportunity. I'm a homegrown, Pacific Controls is a homegrown company, and what we would like to tell you is nothing that is beyond perception, but the reality is uh, I'm one of those proponents who say we in Dubai really do not know what we already have. And what we are going to actually benefit from this initiative by Intel is to put everything that we have on steroids. And there's a whole new dimension that we are creating. And my task today is actually to ensure that I'm able to share with you some of the phenomenal things that Dubai and UAE have in terms of how we relate it to the rest of the world. If you want to think of any country in this whole world who's got every building connected, Dubai is the one. In terms of facilitating life safety, if there is any country in the world that has got a dashboard that runs national life safety ubiquitously between government departments, this is Dubai. If there's any country in the world that has got a dashboard for every building, this is Dubai. It's already there. It's Phenomenally, the empowerment of enabling resources, data, and functionality between government infrastructure and between people. And what uh, Atala said today has got huge implications in what we have done. I've just mentioned one uh, initiative that talks about connecting infrastructure. Now, that infrastructure initiative is going down predominantly into the people in the next few weeks, enabling people to be part of that whole initiative of the government dashboard and the building dashboard. Apart from that, have you ever realized that we in Dubai own the smartest, most dynamic transportation infrastructure, which is the Dubai airport? Have you ever realized that whenever you transit through this airport, which actually transits 60 million people seamlessly with no human intervention, have you ever thought that you ever pushed a button to facilitate you of the aircraft safely into immigration and then move into picking your bags and moving out of the airport? In fact, there's a software and an integration that manages this with an SLA of 15 minutes. Government has been running this for five years. Nobody's even thought about it. 27 subsystems in the whole airport ecosystem manages seamless integration. So even the SkyTrains come pick you up because they know how many people come out of every plane and how many planes at every on block on block off environment, facilitating seamless passengers to move it. These are phenomenal. This doesn't exist anywhere in the world. And companies like us who have been part of a whole ecosystem. This is where this whole concept of ecosystem means so much to us because we learn from everything that's potentially available in the globe and try to excel and deliver it in the UAE. This is actually fundamentally now a big boost that facilitates us to now collaborate. The future of all business is collaboration. And believe me, honestly, as we speak, disruption is the order of the day. The whole concept of traditional business is completely demolished. Think about Uber transforming billion dollar businesses in London taxis and other places, creating chaos in the whole environment. Think of this Airbnb. Intercontinental Hotel took 70 years to build a stock of 37 million rooms to offer to the public. Uber, I mean, Airbnb did it in three years. Phenomenal transformation. Now, in fr from this very fundamental concept of what is going to affect the fabric, whether we like it or not, it's going to happen. One transformation I can highlight is a fact that will influence all of us and dynamically challenge us as we speak today is that concept that's now being tested, which is the driverless car. Have you ever thought of that implication when a government says we're going to allow dynamic car, uh, driverless cars? You're physically putting a human being's intellect into a car with no human being facilitating it to relate to hundreds of devices, systems, environment, ecosystem, and make it function without killing people. It's too complex. So in reality, what has drive, driven is there is disruption in right inside our house. Because if you look at the processing power that is needed at a cost that is seamlessly low as cost of a cell phone to drive such initiatives of collaborative computing, we are faced with challenges. There are new boys down the block who are coming and challenging every, each one of us in our own ecosystem. These are the things that we're dealing with reality. We in UAE have said we will allow dynamic uh, adaption of smart driverless cars. The impact of it is millions of sensors, millions of data points, 
aggregated in real time, facilitating seamless delivery of transportation. Whole new dimension. None of us can fathom the complexity of it in the current environment because that ecosystem or that dimension doesn't exist. So having this lab is going to be a phenomenal transformation in facilitating us to think big, think global, and facilitate collaborative environments that can leverage the opportunities that are available in the rest of the world. I, I've given, uh, I think um, Tommy gave me three minutes. So I wrap up purely because of the fact that I believe what we are having in UAE is very, very unique. Three minutes of Tommy time, so you're fine. Yeah? <laughs> We, we have a, a very interesting um, challenge when uh, uh, Atala mentioned about this whole Dubai Smart Dubai Initiative. It's a huge vision. We're part of a bidding team. We've realized that what they're creating is a completely new vision and they're going to deliver it. It's a phenomenal vision that will transform lifestyle in planet Earth. Everything that we do to make human life better. This will be huge transformation in facilitating some of those fundamentals in life, which today has been missed out completely because the challenges of us interacting with machines, our ability to eradicate time in dealing with these hundreds of thousands of emails that we deal with, all this would be done in a whole different format if we are able to leverage the smart city and collaborative environment between government, stakeholders, every business, and people. And the vision of this platform that will actually manage the whole country would be to deal with people, make people enterprise.